Yeah, good evening, everyone. So, uh, welcome to the uh, today's webinar on uh, automate the process with Microsoft Flow. And this is presented by CSOP Corner with along with Chennai chapter. So, I uh, first say thanks to uh, both of them. So, for providing this opportunity to uh, convey my uh, uh, knowledge to everyone. So, I'm uh, myself, Santa Kumar, and I am a uh, CSOP Corner MEP, four times CSOP Corner MEP. And I am currently working in IHL as a senior technical lead and you can capture or you can learn more things uh, from if you want to know more about uh, uh, the SharePoint and Office 6 by Microsoft 365 so you can uh, 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 you can view it in my blog and also I have just uploaded YouTube videos and you can uh, view in my handler KTS Kumar in the name of KTS Kumar okay so today's uh, uh, we are what we are going to see is first how to automate a process using Microsoft flow so before going to that deep first we want to know is what is Microsoft flow and what is the use of Microsoft flow and uh, how we can build how can use make use of that Microsoft flow okay and at last I am going to show the demo with uh, how to integrate the cognitive services and Microsoft graph API uh, along with within a uh, Microsoft flow to automate the entire process it combined the uh, um, Microsoft services in the Microsoft flow okay that we'll uh, see in a very uh, deep demo okay and last we'll as soon uh, as same as we have a Q and a session okay so if you have any uh, queries and uh, in our session just please raise your hand you can ask any questions so maybe it's based on the timing because I have to cover a lot so we'll have we'll go okay so first so uh, first of all what is flow okay what is Microsoft flow before going to uh, Microsoft flow why we need to go for Microsoft flow because uh, in a lot of uh, previous decade or the just uh, maybe couple or three years back we have used lot of workflows uh, workflow tools maybe in SharePoint uh, also we have used SharePoint workflow and a lot of third party workflows on index workflow lot of things are there for, for automating that task whatever we are doing that so there is again some tools is available for automating that task but like uh, we have to just drag and drop or we have to just create action and lot of things, lot of the things. So that is we have done in the previous decade or the previous years we have done some simple task automation. Okay, simple task automation. Just we are going to just maybe uh, if you want to send an email, just put the action and it will send away. Okay, and uh, we have some triggers like uh, if a new item is created or if a new item is updated or new file is uploaded, uh, any property is updated. So that kind of uh, trigger uh, mechanism we have used for automated uh, automating tasks. So, so and what the Microsoft flow is differentiate from that kind of uh, flow. Okay, so that kind of uh, workflow process. So here in the Microsoft flow, we can connect with multiple Microsoft services and we can create intelligent based automation we can use uh, we can use a Microsoft flow to think how or where we are where the next step uh, next next process would go and that kind of uh, intelligent process is available in Microsoft flow it's it will also do complex uh, workflows also we can uh, do in uh, Microsoft flow so this the complex means we can gain we can combine any any services across uh, the globe there are a lot of services available third party services or Microsoft services we can combine or we can fetch the data from those services and we can uh, use make use of that services to build complex any complex kind of or uh, workflow process we can build and we can automate that also by using uh, that trigger mechanism what we have uh, discussed earlier okay so that is called a Microsoft flow is comes with the intelligent process automations so the automations can build uh, develop in the in so by intelligence okay so so in the Microsoft flow we have seen the what is a Microsoft flow and there are two types of because uh, currently I'm just going uh, some giving some overview which uh, intermediate level session so I'm just uh, giving some high level scenarios and high level overview on that so if you want to know more details on that, just we can you can just log into Microsoft Flow documentation. There you can see a lot of documentation, basically everything is there. 
okay so uh, now what is the, there are two types of flows that is a high level type of flows maybe if we go in deeper we can differentiate different types of uh, mix of flows there now the, the, the mix of flow there or we have two type of mix of flows one is automated flows and another one is business process flow okay automated flows we can also do with uh, the manual trigger also we can do or uh, we can just trigger by any if email arrives if uh, any item is or any tweet is uh, done or if any item is created so the kind of automation is we can do with automated flows so it's kind of uh, some parallel sequence steps we can add it here and then we can just uh, go with the next next uh, next steps okay in the automated flows but in business process flow it's like uh, in, uh, maybe in uh, if you if you also happen to you can know about the state machine workflow that kind of thing is business process flow so it's we can define it in different different stages okay so if the particular stage is happen the uh, next uh, the next process will go on okay so like that maybe we can say it as a approval kind of uh, thing maybe uh, if you have multi level approvals maybe reviewer one reviewer two reviewer three stage if we have these kind of stages we can create in a business process flow and if each stage is uh, uh, each stage is uh, go uh, when the particular process will be uh, run so that kind of process flow we can uh, create and this is mostly based on the common data service which we have to create in the uh, microsoft flow in the in the data platform in the data platform the microsoft services so we have to create microsoft common data services and we have to link that with the microsoft flow so that we can build the business process flow but in automated flows is uh, it's differentiate from business process flow because here we don't need any common uh, data platform common data model we don't need in automated flows just be based on a trigger it will run that kind of actions it has okay so what is the benefits of uh, microsoft flow okay in uh, previous thing in sap and is now upon index of flow we have to uh, non developers they couldn't uh, understand much when we are they are using the actions or they are using any uh, conditions so it's, it's it's a little bit complex but in microsoft flow everything is a uh, very simple so non end developers or end users also can able to create a microsoft flow and they can automate that uh, their process by accessing different services or applications so it can be done with getting notifications it's, these are the simple examples get notifications copy files copy from one place to another the this kind of actions we have and collect data from any uh, azure logic azure apps or azure, azure functions in automated approval so everything is we have lot of templates also available in the microsoft flow uh, environment so we can use the templates and we can build a, um, any kind of uh, simplex to complex microsoft flow so here next one is this is a connect there are a lot of 230 plus connectors available uh, uh, in the microsoft flow so we can connect this 230 plus microsoft microsoft or third party services to the microsoft flow and make use of the data or we can send the data or fetch the data from here and there and we can you create a microsoft flow so these are the connectors is currently available so it can be uh, open maybe it can be grow uh, higher in coming days and this is a components of your uh, microsoft flow so when you want to create or when you want to build a microsoft flow we need simple things one is event or any trigger should happen to start the automated workflow okay in the microsoft flow and for for many number of actions there are lot of actions available in uh, in microsoft flow because in the connectors itself we have two tidy plus maybe if you uh, calculate the two, uh, the actions it goes more okay so we can use any functions and any number of functions within a microsoft flow so there is no limitations in uh, using that uh, actions in microsoft flow and we have a condition logic we have uh, conditions and we can have a loop uh, by using apply each or for each condition so that kind of thing do until condition there are a lot of uh, conditional logic and data operations and uh, if you want to call with the uh, call outside uh, thing uh, like http request or post request or get request so that kind of actions also available in a microsoft flow okay and by using this microsoft flow we can also trigger other microsoft flows okay so 
so that's what uh, these are the main these are the high level components so if you go much deeper we have uh, we can explore a lot hello um, so if uh, if you're not speaking this if you're not having any questions just mute you as uh, side and so far we have seen what is microsoft flow and here we are now we are going to build our automated automated process which will use cognitive services and microsoft graph cognitive services which is nothing but uh, it's uh, like uh, language understanding or machine uh, machine learning that kind of services is all available in microsoft uh, as a cognitive services there are a lot of thing language understanding and uh, uh maybe a speech recognition text uh, translation and this kind of services available in cognitive services now we are going to use language understanding feature in microsoft flow and also we are going to use microsoft graph microsoft graph is nothing but it's 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 a single endpoint which can access which can access the data across the microsoft 365 services you can also get the data from onedrive sharepoint and azure active directory and teams and uh, lot lot of the lot of things so what are the microsoft services available we can use this uh, microsoft graph uh, api is endpoint single endpoint to access all data from across the microsoft 365 services so by using that we are going to do so in that demo in, uh, next one is demo so before going to demo i'm just uh, give a uh, give just explain on uh, what we are going to do okay i'm going to just build a simple uh, a ticket handler application okay that is uh, if if a normal user or normal end user or customer will send a mail say they are sending that uh, email as uh, he has some problem with his application okay if that sent the microsoft flow which uh, three which checks uh, based on the mail okay and then based on the subject or based on the body text it will analyze and it will understand what kind of application what kind of problem the user is facing and based on that it assign the ticket to the particular uh, uh, depart, uh, particular uh, tower uh, like sharepoint tower or sap tower or any office x or ad tower that kind of tower. it's assigned to, uh, to particular group for this analyzing that email and the for that purpose we are using the cognitive services that is language understanding by using that we are just sending a uh, capture it and based on that we are sending or uh, assigning that uh, ticket to the particular group okay if that particular group is assigned and then we have to send the mail to particular uh, users in the uh, particular uh, tower okay for that we are going to use the microsoft graph microsoft graph which captures the members available in that particular office 65 that support group okay and then that microsoft groups will and there is a email send send email method action in microsoft flow by using that we are going to send that email to uh, the particular uh, person particular uh, department users okay that is maybe service uh, uh, whoever uh, handle the tickets okay and then at last if you have time we can see on how to create a custom column formatter in a sharepoint list and based on we will create another some workflow and based on the click of that particular event we will just change the status of uh, the ticket okay this is what we are going to do this is by automation okay there's only the user will send only the email okay and then after that everything will be taken care by microsoft flow and at last once the ticket is closed or once the ticket is uh, uh, completed or uh, the that time the user or that the employee or the, the service handler ticket handler will complete that request that's what we are going to do okay in the demo so let me just so this is my flow environment so you can just get it from here from the office you can see flow okay just click on this you will navigate to the flow site okay um i have already just created this ticket automation as for our for the demo just going to create it uh before that we have to just okay let me first create this you can see automated instance schedule we can create uh, from blank also we can also create 
uh, workflow based on the template also we can create it you can see there are a lot of templates available here okay you can just navigate to it and if here you can see there are a lot of templates you can kind of, this will integrate or connect with any services so if you want to move see more templates so it will go on so here we can categorize everything and then we can see it so events and corners you can see here related to this category we can see the templates related to this category okay for now we are going to create a create our workflow based on the blank just blank template we are going to create okay just automated from blank okay instant means instantly just manual triggers required and schedule means we want to if we want to just trigger our microsoft flow and in specific time so the for that we can use the schedule from blank i'm just going to automate our flow so maybe uh no maybe uh request automation okay and then um, when the email arrives so we are going to when an email okay, oh. when an email arrives or in office 6 for outlook so i'm just create it okay and the in inbox so we can also we can have some filter here but in the inbox it arrives we are going to run this microsoft flow okay once it's run we are just using the cognitive services to just manage all the what um <coughs> we are going to just analyze that uh, email worry okay for that i'm going to luis.luis.ai and I'm going to log in. So I have already created uh, uh, some Lewis uh, environment. So I'm going to show it. So how to create it? Okay, here I already have uh, my app. So if you want to create a new app, create new app here, and just request how to mission and then you can select english as a culture and done okay this is nothing but if you want to know more information you can just click here okay so once it's done we have to go to build and then we are going to just create an intent so what your intent is that is uh, if the email arrives it checks what's the intent of the user uh, he, if he wants to raise a ticket for sharepoint uh, department or if you want to raise a ticket for office x-ray department so that kind of uh, what kind of intent we have to just analyze so for that i'm just create sharepoint request so this is a simple thing so we can just by using that we can create lot uh, create any complex kind of analysis also we can create it so for the understanding purpose i'm just creating simple things so maybe office 365 intact okay sorry office 365 request okay and then maybe uh, for now two is oh i think enough maybe maybe i'll create one more So we can create any kind of interns and we have to train this uh, language understanding things for that go to intent i'm just in the share point uh unable to access sharepoint site okay uh need to provide access to the User in SharePoint intranet. So like this, we have to just uh, create uh, here and like that way. Same way, Office six way first also uh, change user license. 
to something okay add new user in active directory so like this we can just build it okay and then we can train by using a click on this train we have to tra we are training this uh, one okay to access SAP application train so it's taking some time okay this train so if you want to check it uh, So you can test it and you can check here inspect. So it's understand this is a SAP point request. Okay. So like that I uh, may be unable to access intranet. Okay, it's understand the SAP point request. Add a new user add user to active directory. Let's understand this. So this is a Office X Y request. So like that, it's it's understand the intent and it's uh, uh, convey the uh, intent what's the intent to our Microsoft flow. The Microsoft flow will take care of the next things. So once done is yes, we have to publish it. Okay. So once published. So here we can use it. So what's our value of flow? Okay. And next step is here we have to find the Louis. And uh, Louis, we have to use a get prediction. Okay. So I have already connected our my uh, connected to a Louis application. Louis, uh, I have already have a connectors to the Louis so that it's uh, coming de by default otherwise it asks us to add a new connector or just uh, we have to just uh, sign in to Louis application in the Microsoft flow so that we can able to access this uh, intents here okay it's not coming here what's so I already have some connections yeah, here connections. Come on first. Yeah, I have already have a Louis connection. So that no need to create one more. So here I have to use request automation. Okay, maybe if you want to check, uh, unable to access SharePoint okay unable to access SharePoint site and this is maybe you can check it here for maybe we can use some condition to whether this uh, the text which is uh, which is coming under this SharePoint request uh, t intent so it returns a true or false now uh, we are not going to do like that so only thing is after the get prediction we are to going to get what is the uh, topmost intent is okay and then we are sending the email okay this is when an email otherwise in under for, for if the admin at kts demo dot on microsoft dot com this is this is the mail okay N then this will check okay so and i am going to add a new step here send email uh, office x outlook send an email okay maybe to another user maybe yes comma or uh, test user 
allowed in with Taraju so I'm making So choose a test user for I'm going okay so I'm sending the mail to test user for okay with the subject object as uh, here you can see from the get prediction you can get these are the informations Okay, here I want to top scoring intent name along with score. Okay, this returns. Okay, testing maybe we can have the same email body here. Maybe, okay, maybe. Testing MS flow automation. Okay, and then save it. Okay, before that, I'm going to log in in another user account. Okay, uh, Okay, once it's saved, and then we have to just run this. So I'm going to okay. I already have. Maybe I'll just turn off. Okay, this one. I turn off the other one. Turn off. Okay, this one I have to. What happened? Save it. Flow checker, nothing, no issues. The test, I'll perform the trigger action. Use data. I'll perform the trigger action. Okay, so. Let me send an email from another email account. Um, message to admin. Okay, uh, the subject. Right. Maybe you can have send. I'm just sending the email. Let me check it. Send the items. Okay. And then I am going to that admin email id let me open oh, outlook yeah here we are received let me check it from here okay the cost automation is done Maybe one if you click on it, what will happen? This checks unable to access SharePoint site and desired interns. You can see the intern SharePoint request and the score is 896. Okay, let me check this. Send an email. Here you can see it sent us SharePoint request and the scoring rate testing MS flow automation. Let me check it here. Okay. 
ओके टेस्टिंग में भी हम दिस इज़ फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग दिस अकाउंट कैन सी या या ई मेल जस्ट रिसीव्ड सो फॉर नाउ वी हैव डन फ्रॉम द स्टैटिक टेक्स्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वी हैव टू चेक इट फ्रॉम द ई मेल बॉडी so in the get prediction i am going to get the value this is from the email body so when an email arrives i am just click on this body preview and then save it test it with along with my previous one test okay it's running and In the get prediction, we can check the text. You can see hello unable to access appoint site. The intent and the send email. Okay, so like that, maybe we can send another email from uh, like maybe uh, admin. user in add to directory okay wait send so it sent let me check whether this is uh, the no not okay once it's done okay it's not triggered yet so we have to wait for some time okay in the meanwhile maybe uh we have to check on how to access the microsoft graph here because now i have when the let me go with my admin here i have created three uh groups for the same name the sharepoint request um office x y request and uh, So the one SAP request. So we here we we have lot of list of groups. Sapan Office X Y groups. Here we have Office X Y request, Sap request, and Sapan request. Okay, and each request has two mem uh, has some members. Okay, so here it's our owner. You can see the members, two members. Each one has its own members. So we have to based on the email we have to send. Uh, send the mails to these users okay so uh, first one is we have to identify the intent and based on the intent we have to identify uh, the office x y group the identified office x y group which we are doing uh, through uh, microsoft graph api okay so that one i am going to do it now so first so in the meanwhile whether we it's Let me close. We have lot of uh, tabs here. You can see this is succeed, and we can see uh, this email should send to this. You can see this uh, office X Y request and intent is intent score zero point eight. So this is what based on the email text, it uh, identifies the request and send. So now based on this intent name, we have to get the group and then because. Uh, by default we didn't have a action to get the microsoft office x y group based on the group name so only if we know the group id we can have some access to get the group members or group information so for getting the group id we need to use the microsoft graph api to first we have to list out all the microsoft group office x y groups available and based on the office x y groups available we have to filter it and we have to uh, get that group id that's what we are going to do it right now so um just due to some time constraint maybe uh just edit so before that we have to first create uh the app uh that is uh, app registration in the microsoft graph api so for that i am going to uh, azure active directory so portal azure 
here I am just uh, here just going to also uh, active directory and app registrations. So here we have to create app register. We have to register our app here. So new registration. Uh, maybe uh, webinar automation webinar. Uh, secret okay you can choose any here some goes accounts in any organization directory and no need and then register okay once it's registered we have to give some permission to it so to read a group okay so I'm just going to read add a permission and the Microsoft graph application permission Okay, here I have to select as a group. Only thing is, we are going to just read it. So, instead of that, maybe I group uh, dot read write all because we are doing automation. So, instead of delegated permission, we can use we have to use we should use application permissions. Delegated permissions, if you are using uh, the application normal end user application, you can go with delegated permissions to delegate the, uh, uh, the particular user access to the Microsoft Graph. Here we are going for automation, so it's like some admin kind of uh, permission. So we have to select applica application permissions. Under that, I am selecting this one. So even though I'm just selecting, we have we have to read the user information also. So I am just where is user? User, okay, user. I am selecting user dot read dot right. Okay, and once it's done, add permissions. Okay, and you can see they're not granted for this particular user, so we have to use the grant consent, grant admin consent for this particular user, and then click yes. okay once this is done we have to just capture some more information like first we have to create a new client secret id maybe uh, automation secret this will be expired after one year so here you can see the secret id so i'm just copying it i'll open the notepad and then secret okay and then going to overview i have to capture that application id this is a client id and we also need a tenant id tenant id for running the graph api okay so these three things is done okay have captured these informations so going to the microsoft flow so to run it, uh, Microsoft Graph API, uh, first we have to create some uh, variables. For variable we have, uh, first we have we initialize variable like client ID, string, and then what's our client ID? This is okay. Maybe we can rename it also for understanding. Okay, so like that, we have to create other things. So instead of doing here, I'm going to just uh, my other flow. Okay, so because it's take some time more time to create it so instead of it i'm just going to my previous maybe ticket automation i'm just turn off it turn on so maybe here i'm just edit it here you can see some variables like uh, client id client secret and tenant id 
okay under that i am having this http call to microsoft graph azure active directory so here this is a, a microsoft group uh, endpoint to fetch the group information so if you want to check this one uh, ms graph explorer okay so it's loading uh, multiple permissions here under this groups okay here you can see what are the groups available under my name so these are office 6 where groups available so i no need all pro all the properties i only need uh, id and display name based on the display display name only i'm going to get the id so for that do you select display name come id so here we receive this and then maybe we can order it order by okay we can order we can order it okay so we have different office by group and id we we receive here so i'm go i'm using this endpoint there so i'm just copying this instead of copying this i have already have so this is what first we have what just for this operation just click just okay sorry what action i have used is HTTP. you can see yes it is this operation i have used this action i have used for running this so i have just used a get method okay and then paste the paste this url here and then in the just expand this advanced function advanced options i have selected azure active directory what so that i'm able to select get tenant client id and client secret and everything so so i'm just delete this okay and then have just have this expand this and so advanced function here you can see the azure active directory author is login.microsoftonline.com audience is grab.microsoft.com client type is here i use a secret okay for these are the client id client id client secret are variables which i have already initialized here this one under the name client id just i have added a client id and then the secret here and then the tenant id so this are the properties i have initialized and then i have used here so just this one and this will retrieve return you the uh, certain set of uh, that ex json format so we have we will receive this uh, output in a response okay so to decipher or uh, to pause this json we have used a pause json action maybe let uh, here's pause json here we have this operation i have used so and then we have to provide for the schema these are the schema we have to create so if you want to just generate the schema by default you won't get it if you want to generate the schema you have to use simple payload payload and then you have to paste the output here so this will analyze and then it will give you the value in the json format okay once this is done we have also initialized the three more variables for group id identifying the group id one thing and this is for the ticket type ticket type is uh, based on the, we are storing that intent topmost intent we are storing in the name of ticket type so that one we are storing it after get prediction so i have used a ticket management instead of the ticket management you can go for the request automation and then the same so here i have used body preview and then the switch i have just created so what kind of request SharePoint request and then here i have not added office 6 by request and a default is none so this what so what are the requests you need you can just create multiple cases and here maybe we can uh, apply it a different logic also here it's possible 
So in the set variable, I'm just in the ticket type variable, I'm just uh, storing top top scoring intent name. If it is SharePoint request, its, uh, its name is top scoring intent name. Okay. If it is uh, Office X Y, uh, its name is Office X Y request. Okay. So and then once it's done, we have to filter it. Filter the JSON which was retrieved in uh, Microsoft Graph API. Okay. And then we have to filter this value here. This represents you can see this value is from okay oh, sorry after this one we have run the pause json so this will pause and then it will provide us the properties so we have to select under the pause this is a filter value from pause json value okay and then under the pause json if you want to just filter you have to filter based on uh, some value from the pause json so it gets complex so maybe it's display name i have added display name is equal to the sharepoint request okay display name is uh, the office xy group name once it's done so we have filtered it okay now we have to retrieve we, uh, we have to retrieve that group id so it's written as an array it returns as a array format and from the array i'm just storing this group id so here this will store the SharePoint request to group ID here. Okay. And it's done. So now we have to just list the group members. So this is the Office X Y group action. So maybe we can check it from here. Office 365 group. You can see Office X Y groups. From the Office X5 groups, we can also get list of group members. This action was this action only we have added there. Okay, so this will we are passing the group ID. So based on it, it will return all the user, all the members available under that particular group. And then we have used the apply to each. This is a loop action. Based on that, we are just passing that response. Okay, and then we are storing that. Uh, group users so we are just uh, looping this and then we are getting multiple members and then storing it in a group users uh, string variable and i am appending the email with this semicolon okay so that we can send that email so once it's done we can we are going to create a new item new request in the sharepoint list okay with subject body preview ticket type and here as i am just left it uh, there because I have created another Microsoft flow and then and just click on that uh, particular button it will assign automatically by calling that Microsoft flow another workflow and once created and it sent an email okay so I'm just saving and then I'm going to test it maybe uh, when an email arrives too okay so I'm just sending another email Okay, so here I have to change the send email to the group users. Okay, first new message. Okay, um, I'm facing problem. Here. SharePoint turn it okay turn it I'm just sending this this is sent let me check this is run or not let's see it's in last nine minutes later so we have to just wait for some time maybe it takes up to maybe within 15 minutes the Microsoft flow will run okay and I'll show the list this is a list I have already have maybe I'm just uh, so delete some of them But 
better understanding. So the SharePoint list I'm connecting is service request. Okay, by default it has title, description, assignment group. The assignment group only uh, we have Office XY request, SharePoint request, that kind of uh, thing, and is assigned to. So the once the group is assigned, the particular uh, person can check uh, the ticket is from his group. He can just come here and if he is free, if he click on this assign to me, it will assign to that particular user. Okay, let me start. This is this. Yeah, it's run. We'll check it here. So, first of all, we can check. Yeah, everything is succeed. Okay. So, initial after the initialized, I'm just checking this. This is CTP call. You can see the response output will be in the JSON format. Okay. If, uh, after getting this, we have to pause JSON. Okay. So it's a uh, JSON is paused and the output will be the same. But we can identify uh, the ID display name property based on this pause JSON action. Otherwise, we can't able to get that property uh, name. Okay. So get prediction, we already seen it. And in the switch, I'm going here. So if it is a uh, equal SharePoint request, it came here. If it is office uh, 365 request means it go to case 2. Okay, ticket type is SharePoint request. Outputs type, we got it. SharePoint request as enter name. So if you want to ensure it, you can check it from here. What's the top most intent is? You can see top scoring intent. This is SharePoint request. Okay. So I'm just coming down here. Filter array. You have, this is a, the source, the entire array. And after the filter, we only got this particular ID and display name. And we are applying this filter array here and then setting the group ID group ID to that particular SharePoint request group ID. Okay. So this is it. And we have to come to list group members. You have to just based on the group ID. This is SharePoint request group ID. So once it's set, we will retrieve the users. Three user three at KTS demo at Microsoft.com and this one and then the another user. Just to four user okay so here you can get the pause json once the pause json is done you are just pausing it and appending that variable so there are two uh, objects are there so that it's getting to one of two three user three and then three user test user four so these two user will get the email once it's done, it creates a new item. The title as facing problem in internet description. This one and assignment group is appoint the course to open. Okay, and it send an email to test user three and test user four. Okay, so let me check our test user four email ID. You can see it's got it. So my subject is appoint the course. Sorry. My topmost is SharePoint request and the body of that the actual user uh, sent. Like that I have just created, uh, you can see the body. SharePoint request and after the HTML format which contains the actual, actual user uh, message. Okay, this is what the simple automation. We can, we can just think by using this uh, combining co community services or Microsoft Graph and we can create any complex uh, related uh, query uh, workflows. Okay. So and then let me just minimize all. So this is what first I have just when an email arrives and then I have just initialized some variables 
calling the Microsoft Graph API and the cognitive services and then identified the hypothesis intent and then identified the group and then creating item and send an email. So let me go to SharePoint site. You can see the facing problem in internet and it's assigned group in SharePoint request and this is assigned to me. Maybe I'm just click on it. So it's, 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 it's. okay. In progress, some message. Okay. okay. One four. So it's total means I have all. This is a uh, another one. So it's eleven seconds. I hope it's run. Let me check this. You can see this is assigned to in progress and assigned to. This is what another one. So maybe I can show that how that works. Just edit. I've just uh, used a template request manager approval for select item. So uh, that I have used a template for this so that you are seeing that name here. And for a selected item. And service request this is some word message and get item okay and update the item it's service request and in progress and user email okay this is what I just simply created and I have uh, modified this by uh, format this column and I have just used this custom column formatter and calling this that particular Microsoft flow by using this flow ID. Okay, so this is what is it? Very simple. This is what simple the automation. So we can use or uh, we can use this logic or we can use these features to create any complex uh, the Microsoft flow. Okay, that's all uh, this one. And thank you for watching.